What's up guys, it's time to unbox the brand new Samsung goodies. We have the Galaxy J6 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy J4 Plus. These are the new budget boys from Samsung. We have the J4 Plus coming at about $200 price, which translate into uh, 23,000 PKR. And this one is a little bit expensive, coming at 29,000 PKR, nearly 280 to $270, you can say. And uh, it has dual cameras. This one is having the single camera. The Galaxy J6 Plus is the first Samsung phone to have a side fingerprint scanner so I'm interested to see how that will work now these are the official retail packaging so you got all the warranty card and stuff it also comes with Samsung members card and this is actually a free food voucher so if you go to Burger King Hardee's or any of these you can get some food discount so that's nice let's quickly remove the plastic from this bad boy as well and again you get the same Samsung members food voucher and also the warranty card. So here we have the J4 plus side by side with the J6 plus the first look Let's just lift both of these two phones up and as you can see the size is pretty much the same uh, We have a fingerprint scanner here on the J6 plus and also having the dual camera But just in case if you don't want the fingerprint or the dual camera Then uh, they're actually the same phone in terms of screen size the battery and the internal processor as well so can see the back look now let's quickly see what is inside the box other than the phone so we get the quick start guide a silicon case a USB 2.0 cable not type C surprisingly normal Samsung headphones and a charger that doesn't support fast charging with the J4 plus we have the quick start guide again same kind of stuff the normal charging cable the hand-free and the non-fast charger and the difference here is that you don't get the silicon case with the Galaxy J4 Plus, at least with this. This is the retail market version, so uh, yeah, no case with the J4 Plus. And here is the first look. I gotta say, both are uh, pretty shiny looking phones. Obviously, this is plastic build quality, it's not real glass. Just having a plain plastic design is not that good. I gotta say, gold one is looking a bit better than the black one here. The sides are also pretty shiny. We can see the top speaker design is here. So speaker is right at the top right corner. Towards the bottom, we get the headphone jack as well as the not type C normal USB 2.0 port. Towards the left, we have the warm rocker as well as the two separate SIM card trays. So you can put two SIM cards as well as a micro SD card at the same time. And on the top, we have nothing but the Qualcomm 4G sticker. So these phones do support 4G. And of course, both of them have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 4 25 processor i believe that's the chip that samsung went with it would have been much better if they went with the snapdragon 660 processor but samsung doesn't do that in this price range so let's just boot both phones up at the same time and obviously this one has the fingerprint scanner on the side as you can see a different power button look so uh, this is much larger and thicker so that you can have your thumb registered easily and this one is just having that normal uh, power button. So J4 Plus is a phone that has no fingerprint scanner in this price range. Like I'm pretty sure there are a lot of great phones at $200 price that would give you uh, more than just a fingerprint scanner. So still, I believe that Samsung is lacking a lot of stuff in the mid-range department. And uh, oh, we also have a front-facing LED flash on both phones, so that's nice. Okay, so both phones are on, and this is obviously an LCD IPS display. Now, since there is no fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy J4 Plus, you still get the facial recognition, but this one is a bit interesting because it has a side fingerprint scanner, uh, which according to leaks could happen on the Galaxy S10 Lite as well. But recently we have heard that all three Galaxy S10 models will have a in-display fingerprint scanner just because, uh, probably because all the iPhones, they have Face ID. So uh, that might be the reason. But let's quickly see how good this side fingerprint scanner is. All right, let's just register here real quick. All right, we are done with the setup. And as you can see, we have this six inch display with some decent brightness. And if you look at the bezels, it's uh, pretty much the same stuff. Uh, they do call it infinity, but there are thick top and bottom chin. Now software wise, they are rocking the Android 8.1 Oreo. You can see this is Android 8.1.0 
version. So pretty much software experience will be similar to the Galaxy S9 other phones because uh, this is a good thing about Samsung is that they do provide the Samsung experience UI across all the devices uh, with different price ranges. So that's nice and very less bloatware. I have to say this is feeling really good and fluid uh, with the Snapdragon 400 processor. Probably they have done some nice optimization. Also, if we swipe to the right from the home screen, you will see that they do have Bixby uh, voice assistant built in. Now, there is no actual Bixby key like we get on the flagship phone, so that's, uh, that's a nice thing. Now, J6 Plus is the interesting one because of the side a fingerprint scanner, so let's see how fast this is. Okay. All right. So it definitely takes some time. If you just put your finger on the scanner, then I think it would take a little bit more time than just actually pressing it. That's a little bit faster, but not the most fastest one, I would say, but it is something that you will get used to. Obviously, I've been using the scanners on the back, but now it's over here. So with practice, you can get a good fast experience out of this. So side finger image scanner with the Galaxy J6 Plus, as far as the battery is concerned, both phones are having the same battery size, coming at 3300 mAh. Sadly, there is no fast charging on either of these phones and they don't support uh, Type-C connectors. So um, yeah, I mean, USB 2.0 is definitely old now. Uh, and I mean, it would have been better if they moved with the proper Type-C connection. Now time to take a look at the camera. So as you can see, we have uh, pretty much the same UI as the flagship phone so uh, very limited features I would say we do get the pro mode on both phones but obviously uh, the Galaxy J6 Plus is the star here because with the dual camera you do get live focus mode uh, with the back camera. Now, as far as the picture quality is concerned the result is same as the previous J series phones it's the same 13 megapixel sensor I haven't seen any kind of major improvement or something incredible going on here it's just a simple Galaxy J series camera I would say if I have to rate this in terms of grading I would say it's a solid C grade camera. When it's taking HDR photos it does take some two or three seconds to process that and boost the color and stuff so that looks a little bit better. With the live focus mode you can set the blur levels while you are taking the photo. You can also adjust the blur levels after you took the photo in the gallery application. Overall it's just a normal Samsung budget camera Again, nothing too exciting going on here. You choose 1080p videos, uh, no 4K. Obviously, the processor is probably not capable of that. So these are the new budget boys from Samsung, as always. Uh, Samsung's not too good with the budget level. I mean, no fast charging. The camera setup should be the same as they have implemented in the Galaxy A9 that can shoot videos up to 4K and can take some sharper photos. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, nothing very exciting going on apart from this fingerprint scanner on the side, which is also not the super fast thing, but it was interesting to see on a Samsung phone nonetheless. And uh, these could actually be the last Galaxy J series phones. I mean, Samsung is working on 11 new upcoming devices. So uh, it's been expected that there will be some new alphabets. So these phones could bring the end to the Galaxy uh, J series. Samsung definitely needs to step up their game in the mid-range level and provide more value. So that's just my uh, look at the Galaxy J6 Plus and the J4 Plus. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.